Jira is a system where content developers report bugs and issues, can respond to bugs and issues from tech support and digital production, address enhancement requests, and address specific project tasks. You must request a Jira account by sending an email to the Solution Center. You may also need to request access to specific projects to see related tickets. Go to jira.sengage.com. The navigation bar at the top of the screen is the same on every screen in Jira. It contains links which give you quick access to many of Jira's most useful functions. Your Jira dashboard may look different from the one on, in this screen. It's just an example. The links in the navigation bar, however, will always be the same. Now let's go over some of those links. If you click on Dashboards, it will list all of the dashboards that you have added to your dashboard list. You can choose Manage Dashboards. Manage Dashboards allows you to search for dashboards, click the most popular dashboards, see what your dashboard looks like, as well as any favorites you have added. I'll show you an example what my dashboard looks like. Here's an example of my dashboard with all gadgets. Projects will display the current project you have open along with any recent projects you have accessed. You can also select to view all projects. Issues will list any issues under the current filter that is open along with any recent issues you have accessed. There's also a link to filters that you can search for as well as the timesheet. Another important button will be to create issue. Create issue will open a new window where you can enter information specific to the issue that you would like to create. Also in the top navigation, we have the option to do a quick search, help, and adjust information in our profile. As mentioned before, these boxes that are listed on my dashboard are called gadgets. Some dashboards allow you to add gadgets. You can add a gadget by clicking the Add Gadget button. It does take some time to open. You will see a new window open with a complete list of all the gadgets you could possibly add. You can search or you can browse the list as needed. Once you select the gadget, you can choose Add It Now. That gadget has now been added to your dashboard. You can just as easily get rid of a gadget by clicking the Down Menu button and Delete. Gadgets can be moved around your dashboard by dragging and dropping. You can also choose a different layout for your gadgets and your dashboard. Right now it's set to three columns. You can also do one of these three options or have it as a whole page so everything's in list format. Under the Tools section, you can copy, edit, share, delete, find, and create dashboards. You can view all as a wallboard or as a wallboard slideshow, which creates an entire page of text without the gadgets. The example I'm showing you has been cloned from an MTQA template. If you're using a dashboard template, there may already be a pre-populated selection of gadgets. You can search for issues across projects, versions, and components using a range of search criteria. Jira also makes custom fields available as search criteria, allowing you to refine your searches even further. The search can be saved as a filter in Jira, allowing you to recall the same search and run it again or even share it with others. Under Issues, you can see an entire list of issues to search from. There are three different search methods available. Quick Search is the fastest way to define search criteria. However, it is less precise than other search methods. The Quick Search is in the navigation bar. The basic search is more precise than the quick search, but easier to use than the advanced search. It provides a user-friendly interface and lets you define complex queries without needing to know how to use JQL. The advanced search is the most powerful of the three search methods. You can specify criteria that cannot be defined in other searches. However, you need to know how to construct structured queries using the JIRA query language, or JQL, to use this feature. To run your search again in the future, you can save your search as a filter. Choose a filter name so that you can easily identify what this search was.